Bye. Welcome to Coach Hayes Football Live. He can talk about anything from high school to the pros. This guy knows the game, so you better not be half-stepping. I can guarantee you most of the audience is going to agree with me before they agree with you. Strap in, because Coach Hayes is about to... Crack your cream and fertilize your brain. Go ahead and right here, right now. Subscribe now and check out CoachHayesFootball.com. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Coach Me Coach podcast here. We kind of a little off schedule, and that's okay. We normally have a schedule, but we got some stuff here, and there's a lot of rumor mill going around out here about a young man in the class of 2025, about his classification, and we're here to talk about it. I actually have him. He's in the back room. He's ready to rock and roll. He just wants to kind of clear the air. There's been a lot of talking and a lot of speculation going on. Uh, through the college football world, knowing it's kind of slow, right? And so people are picking at everything to try to find out what's going on with their recruits into their favorite school. So without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and bring in the young man, Austin Simmons. How you doing today, brother? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good, man. So real quick, man, there's been a lot of talk about uh, you know, reclassification. You are a 2025 uh, recruit prospect. Uh, and you've committed to the University of Florida, I believe, on April 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, and so in that time, like I said, there's a lot going on and a lot of reclassification. I know you did an interview with uh, uh, D Streeter over there at Footballville, and they kind of went in depth about, um, you know, how you reclassify. So for those that may have missed that interview, let us know real quick what goes into reclassification and maybe where you can come out of school maybe a year early. How did you get to that point? Um, so basically just did accelerated learning, you know, started my high school credits early, finished that um, when I was a freshman and just started taking college courses in high school. So, so, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I read you almost, you almost at your AA degree, which is associate degree, or you have it already. No, I'm, 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 I'm about to get it right now. I'm about to get it um, this summer, actually about to graduate. And then when I enroll, so if I enroll, then I'll be a junior in college. Wow. So you walking in as a junior yeah. in college. How old are you right now? I'm 17. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. When I was 17, I was trying to get out of high school. This man almost about to get out of college. So I'm loving that yeah. part, man. And I know I know coaches are super excited about that. Uh, let, let's get this going, man. So there's a, a lot of rumor mill. All of the outlets have been talking about this. First of all, I want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to interview you and your family to interview you. You could have went anywhere, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that and giving us a chance to kind of dig into this and find out what's going on. Um, so reclassifying. They're talking about 24, which is the class of 24, where you would be in high school one more year, and then there's a class of 23. Mm -hmm. So the class of 23 is actually – right now uh mm -hmm. those guys a lot of those guys have already got to college let's say in january some of those guys are coming in now into these summer sessions summer a and b uh go ahead and just clear the air right now man what's, what's your what, what are you what, what, what's going on so as of right now i'm gonna reclassify to class of 2023 and i'm gonna flip my commitment to the university of mississippi <laughs> what oh whoa 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 <laughs> Wait, 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 Austin. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Class of 23, so that's two that's years true. early. And you just said flip your commitment. So you're a gator, you a gator commit, and you going to where? University of Mississippi. Oh, miss? Yes, sir. Talk, you gotta talk to me, bro. How, how, what's going on? Talk to me. I, I, what's going on? How did this happen? Sure, it was just when I went up there though, for real. Um you know, we talked with Coach Kiffin, Coach Weiss, you know, started off like with like our relationship got like really close while I was up there, you know, started talking football and shoot, I just felt like I could really develop over there, prepare for the next level. Listen, Coach has seen a lot, boy, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm shocked at this one, man. So, all right, so you're going to Lane Kiffin. I know Lane Kiffin has done some some things there with some quarterbacks and Matt Corral, mm -hmm. I think he had a couple of Heisman Trophy guys over the past years. So, so, all right. So talk to me about it. T talk to me about this commitment because you were with, 
You committed to Coach Billy Napier here in Florida. The Florida fans in here are like going nuts in the chat. Yeah. So, sure. so talk about Gator Nation first of all. What anything you need to say to them? Sure. Um, I just want to thank them though for real for always showing support. No, I want to thank the coaching staff, Coach Billy Napier, Coach O'Hara. Um, they've been showing love since day one, since I met them. You know, ever since I went up to Gainesville. And shoot. I just want to thank him, especially Coach Larry Williams. I wouldn't have even committed to Florida without him, though. Shoot, I've known him since I was young, you know, really close to my dad. And shoot, without him, I would have never considered Florida. And, and, and I know Larry Williams. We actually played, uh, uh, we didn't call it Pop One. It was called Optimus back in that day in Miami mm -hmm. at Scott Lake yeah. together, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, we grew up together at, at high school and so forth. Yeah, Larry, mm -hmm. a tough cat, man. But that's shocking news here. So, so. Talk to me about this. What what happens? What, what is that conversation like with Coach Kiffin then? Sure. Conversation with Coach Kiffin, though, like, he was just basically, like, one of, like, the coolest dudes I ever talked to before, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Just talking to him, like, talking football with him, like, really understanding him as a coach, as a person, you know, that really kind of, like, you know, set the tone of, like, what to really expect when I go to um, Ole Miss. All right, so you talked about being a 23 young man. Mm -hmm. the coach is processing all this, so I all my notes go out the window. Yeah. Because everything <laughs> I had written, everything I had written is no good anymore. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So now you're saying you're a 23 recruit. Yes, sir. That means that these players are already in. So when will you go to Ole Miss? Because they've already um, arrived on campus. Probably in a probably in a week or so. I'll, I'll unroll on um, summer B. Start doing OTAs. All right, man. Listen. Yes, sir. So you go, that, now what does this change like? I mean, because if you're saying you made this okay, you made you flipped your commitment from Florida to, to mm -hmm. Ole Miss. What is the preparation like in your mind, bro? Because it's like instant. You know what I mean? Sure. It's something to get used to, though. Like something like really that really surprised me back then, like that I would even come close to considering this, you know, um, and just thinking about like the huge change from going from 25 to 23 now, like after adjust to a new lifestyle, especially when I'm going out of state too, to Mississippi, to Oxford, you know, different type of environment. So it's going to take some time to get used to, but I feel like it's going to have some, like some positive stuff going into it though. All right. I'm, I'm going to ask you a hard, not a hard question. No softballs mm -hmm. here. Yeah. What's the rush? Why? Why? If you got two years left in high school, I normally hear guys going down one year, right? You know, mm -hmm. twenty five to twenty four. Yeah. But why twenty? Why? Why rush it to twenty three then? I just feel like um, that I just really look at like the um, like the early development of going to like you know college early. You know, like no one can really like ever say that they jumped two years ahead and got the chance to compete in the SEC and possibly like, you know, have a chance to even, you know, play on a good team like Ole Miss, you know? So just jumping early, getting early developed, you know, and Ole Miss has a reputation of building great quarterbacks for the league. So it's one of those opportunities I really couldn't miss. Hey, I understand, man. It, uh, like I said, we just came on here to talk about this. You clarified it. I know mm -hmm. there were some reports. Some people did put out their reports of 23. Some people say 24. Some people say he's staying. Yeah. You just, hey, we've heard it from the horse's mouth. You said class of 23. Yep. You've also flipped your commitment from the University of Florida to Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Lane Kiffin probably jumping off a boat somewhere or catching mm -hmm. a big tune or something. Yeah. I know he likes to go fishing. Um, but I know Gator Gator Nation is, uh, you know, I guess they're disappointed. I know there were some other uh, gentlemen there. And I think DJ Lagway uh, was a, a recruit. But in this class, mm -hmm. I want to say in the 24 class, um, and you're headed up there. What, what is the, what does that quarterback room look like at Ole Miss then? No, the quarterback room like, has great potential to be great, though. I'm not going to lie to you. They have Jackson Dart right now. I'm pretty sure after this upcoming season is going to hit the draft because he has great potential to do some good things in the NFL, you know. And then I think they got Spencer, I believe. Yeah, they got Spencer. I actually don't know the whole QB room yet, though, to be honest with you. Yeah. But um, all I know about is really Jackson Dart. Got you. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, hey, you guys heard it here from the horse's mouth. Literally, man, we got 
quite a few people in the building. I just want to say this. Um, I've been doing this a long time, not been on YouTube that long, but I've been coaching for quite some time. I know how that commitment world works. Mm -hmm. I want to say this to the fan base, guys. I know social media is a whole new animal, and you guys can Twitter people to death, but I'll say this. Please respect, I guess, respect this young man's decision because, you know, he got to make a decision which is best for him and his family. Uh, and and then speaking of family, what do you say about that? What do you, what do your parents have to say? So my parents really, they're all in for it. Really. They just told me to do what's best for me. They're all in for it. They're all behind me. And same for thing for my quarterback coach as well. And my mentor. Got you. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it right here. Austin Simmons, 2025 cut that 2023 quarterback four star, uh, going to Ole Miss man, headed to Oxford, Mississippi, uh, play for coach Lane Kiffin and his staff and see what they can do. I mean, he's already put a, the first 10 win season there at Ole Miss. Hopefully you guys can take it to the natty and everything else. You got some big challenges ahead. You know, uh, I know one of those big games going to be circled. I guess I, I could talk to you about this now is the, the script A, Alabama. You know, how do you feel about going in to play those guys? Shoot. I'm actually kind of excited to play against them, though. I always wanted to, like, you know, it's always been a lifetime dream to actually play against good teams like that. So just want to see what it's like. I love it, man. Let's talk about this piece real quick. Um, baseball is a big component mm -hmm. of your athletic career. I know that there was talks of you playing baseball there at Florida as well as football. Is that still intact at Ole Miss? Yeah, I'm playing both sports at Ole Miss. Um, I think, I believe I'm going to be a two-way outfield and pitcher. So um, looking forward to doing that. And how's the baseball coaches? How, how are they through this piece? I guess you talked to them as well. Yeah, I talked to them as well. Um, you know, they're great. Great group of coaches. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, they just won um, the national championship 2022. And like... They have great potential to make another run. All right. Well, there it is, man. Like I say, I'm excited. Any last words that you'd like to say? And uh, we can get out of here. We, not long, but we just want to kind of clear the air a little bit. This coach is shocked. I'm going to have to go lay down somewhere because I wasn't expecting this one, man. But talk mm -hmm. to me. You sure. Just want to tell everyone, look out for my little brother. Kenneth Simmons is going to be probably one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever come behind me, though. All right, man. What grade is he in? He's going into the eighth grade right now. All right. Well, he may not be in high school long. If he if he's on the same path as you, that dude might beat you and skip three years. Ain't no oh, yeah. telling what's going on in that Simmons family. But anyway, yeah. man, Austin, I appreciate it, man. I wish you nothing but the best. You have my number. You know you can always reach out to me. My phone stays on 24 hours uh, of the day, man. Sometimes you need people to talk to, and, and I'll, I'll just give you my last words of advice. When you walk into college, right, it's all beautiful mm -hmm. and all the recruiting process. But again, as soon as you walk in and you sign that paper to flip, the, they they flip that switch, and it's going to get a grind. I call it the freshman blues, right? Yeah. Everything may not be what you expect, but I will say this: you persevere, trust the process, go through it, and you will be on top because I know you're a very smart young man. You understand that, and you'll definitely do the right things, and you'll definitely make it happen, man. But I'm excited for you. I'm going to be watching. I don't even have to wait two years. I, I got a couple of months to see what's going to happen, man. So we're yeah. definitely going to see what's going on, man. I'm, I'm excited for you. And uh, I, I, I'm i just floored. I have to be honest with you, man. But, uh, hey, with all that being said, I guess we out of here, man. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for your time, man. And uh, enjoy, right. brother. Enjoy your next couple days. Uh, you, where, where are you now, in South Florida? Yeah, I'm in South Florida, my mom. Well, enjoy your days in South Florida because because Oxford, uh, Oxford, Mississippi look way <laughs> different, brother. Yep. So with that being said, man, I appreciate it. I thank you. And, uh, you know, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, thank you. Anytime, brother. There you have it. You got Austin Simmons has flipped his commitment to Ole Miss from the Florida Gators. He has been committed since April 4th, uh, which a couple of months away, and he decided to flip his commitment. I guess he went on that visit. And he really liked what he saw. He liked what it was, what they were talking about. Lane Kiffin sprinkles the magic dust on the 2025 slash 2023 quarterback here, and he's headed to Oxford to see what's going on at uh, um, at Ole Miss. So, with all that being said, guys, thank you for coming in. Uh, again, thank you to the to the Simmons family for allowing me to do this, and everybody else who came in and paid attention. Really appreciate it. Coach Catch at the 50 yard line. Peace.